Limb silencers, air arrest. When to use them, how to use them, and how to make the most of them. Let's get to the point. Today I'll demonstrate with the Shadowproof Archery limb silencers. Now any sort of limb silencers, air arrest are going to work. But if you're in the market for some and you get some from Shadowproof Archery, that'd mean a lot. Description. First, limb padding. When should you use it? It's a good idea to use it when the string slaps the limb. If you want your bow to be quieter, a recurve bow is a great place. I've even noticed on reflex deflex bows, the string still hits the limb, so it's a good option. But on this English style longbow, it's not very practical because there's so much room here, the string never really hits the limb. On recurve bows, there's generally a groove cut into the fiberglass for the string to lay. If your limb padding when you first put it on is really thick, sometimes the string won't sit in the groove and will be off to the side. What I recommend doing is moving it into the groove like that. Make sure you sight down it. Make sure everything looks good before you shoot the bow. After shooting it a few times, it's gonna naturally start to go in the groove. As you can see with this one, it's kind of created the groove on the limb padding. Limb paddings come in many shapes. Most of the time, there's some sort of calf hair with a 3M or some sort of double-sided sticky. Sometimes they're leather. I think the calf hair silences a little better though. The length doesn't necessarily matter that much as long as it's covering where the string hits the limb. On most recurves, this is gonna be four inches. So if you have at least a four inch limb padding, that's good. I wouldn't go smaller. Our limb padding is peel and stick, but we use the same material for limb padding as arrow rest, but I like to apply them slightly different. The first thing I'll do is use scissors to trim it to the size of the arrow rest. A nice pair of scissors tends to work fantastic because you can get those curves very quick and very easy. You see all that fluff? I like to trim that up. I think that's too much. So, with the same scissors, we'll give it a little haircut. This is something not many people do, but I find it to help with the arrow sitting consistently in the same spot every time. So I've got one untrimmed and one trimmed. Check out the difference. You'll notice the untrimmed is extremely fluffy, whereas the trimmed is still fluffy, but now it's uniform. That will work much better. As far as application goes, the fur is generally uh, has a grain to it and running in a specific direction. You want the arrow to run with the grain and the same thing on the strike plate. On this universal kit, I'll just take a little section like this as the strike plate and put the square on. Although if you want to, a lot of people like a triangle shape. Um, that's just for the looks, but you can do that to make it look the way you want. And here is a trimmed finish arrow rest. Now on the limb padding, I don't trim those because I want max silencing. And that's how I use the Shadowproof Archery limb silencers slash arrow rest to put on my bow. I hope this helps. Have a great day and stay shadowproof.